What's up YouTube? Gabe Cantalina here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to get the throttle body out of your Volvo 850, probably 1990s and 97 or 8. It's probably the same process for all of them. But we're going to get that out and clean it up with some throttle body cleaner. I'm going to go spraying anything in your throttle body because it has certain enam enamels on it that you don't want to get eaten away. So make sure you get some throttle body cleaner. Here's the car that we'll be cleaning the throttle body on. It's a 96 Volvo 850 GLT. Just pop the trunk. Pretty sure uh, she's pushing good 500 horses. No, I'm just kidding. First thing I'm going to do is get this off, it takes a T25, just one, pops right off, and then we'll get some of these hoses out of the way. Okay, plastic piece is off, using the T25, very simple process. I'm sure the process is different on some cars, but on mine you can see the throttle body is right there where the spring is. So. I'm gonna go ahead, take this hose off, and get this out of the way. So we got the hose out that goes to there, and that open circle down there that's all dirty with a little clean spot is your throttle body. And this is what we pulled out. It was a bitch, but that little A little yellow tube pulls out of it and then another one I'm not sure if you can see it but it's back there right beside it behind the spring those are both connected to this piece and come out of it so next we're gonna get the throttle body out and down here is the throttle position sensor I unplug that too because we'll be pulling it's attached to the throttle body we'll be pulling that out to clean it so this is the last thing you will have to pop off before you start to take off the throttle body and it's this little thing right here you can just get a screwdriver get underneath it and oh, it's off pops right up off a little ball thing all right so now we're ready to get the throttle body off all we need is a 10 millimeter socket because <coughs> there's four, bo four bolts to be taken off there's one right here one right there, and then one down below, and then one down below on the other side. And that should, throttle body should come right off after that. All right, <clears throat> so we got all of our throttle body bolts out right there. Um, unfortunately, after about uh, one or two cranks to the bolts with the ratchet, you will have to get your hands down in there and unscrew those out the whole time. Because they don't, they're not going to come out the whole way with the ratchet. But now it's a moment of truth. Let's see if that throttle body comes off. Oh, yep. There it is. Nasty as ever. So you got your nasty, grimy throttle body, and you got your throttle body cleaner, and a toothbrush. I don't think you really want to be going to town on these things with uh, like a wire brush or anything, because like I said, they have enamel on them that you don't want to you don't want to mess up. So. Yeah, as you can see, this thing is just filthy, like, it's got crud all over it, and we're just going to take this stuff, spray it, and let it sit, wipe the crud off, and repeat, 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 until it's sparkly. This thing will look brand new when I'm done with it. So, first, 
Let's re read the instructions first. Read entire label before using product. product. For personal safety, do not apply while equipment is energized. Plastic and painted surface should be adversely affected. Avoid overspray. Do not use on vehicles equipped with superchargers, turbochargers, diesel engines, and or rotary engines. Do not spray through air filter. Cross mass airflow sensor. Attach straw to spray button. Manually move butterfly valve back and forth while spraying. Do not spray continuously. Be sure to clean throttle linkages. I knew some shit like that was going to happen. It went in my eyes. How the hell am I supposed to put this in here? I don't think it's meant for it, honestly, I don't know. Doesn't really have a... So let's just spray. Try and get every little bit of it. Ugh. Look at that. All right, so we got all this stuff on. We're gonna let it sit. Let that crud get all crud up, crudded up out of the system and go to town scrubbing it. Okay, so we let the throttle body cleaner soak in. I'm gonna take the toothbrush and just start scrubbing up right. So we let the crud soak into the throttle body cleaner. We're gonna take the toothbrush and just start trying to scrub it. Ugh. All right, we're uh, <clears throat> we're making some progress, guys. As you can see, the inside is looking much better than originally. Like I said, all you do is just spray some of that stuff in there, let it sit, and then get your toothbrush and just kind of scrub around the cracks. It's still dirty, like you can see everywhere. Like it's still filthy. Still have a lot more to do, but that's after the second time spraying. So you know, it doesn't go too. It's not too long. This piece of crud, like that's the stuff that's coming off of my throttle body. As you can see, I got this throttle body pretty cleaned up compared to what it was. It was grimy as hell. Still got to get some of this green, pretty sure it's called gasket, get that off. But, yeah, pretty. Pretty clean all through the inside there. Make sure you open this up. Get the sides. Uh, I was about done, and then I realized that this part right here, this big white part, that was black. So make sure you get that too. And yeah. That whole process, I started at like 8 o'clock. It's 9.30 right now. So it was like an hour and a half to take it off, uh, get it out of the engine bay, and get it all cleaned up. And the cleanup process is like, cause you have to let it, you gotta let it, uh, the stuff soak in. You gotta let it get that crud off. Granted, I'm not putting mine back on today cause I need to wait. I need to order a piece of the green gasket, I think it's called. It's like the paper. It goes around the throttle body whenever you connect it to the engine. 
mine was shot, so I'm gonna order a new one of those. Let me know if you want me to make a video about putting it back on. It's pretty self-explanatory. All you have to do is just watch this video backwards, pretty much. Um, I want to give a shout out to Robert. Do it yourself. Follow him on you or subscribe to him on YouTube. I'll put his uh, channel in the description below. He's the reason I knew how to get that out in the first place. His video is really helpful for your, if you work on Volvos. If this information was helpful to you, uh, please give me a like, give me a subscribe, and catch you later.